G'day, Wombat here, and today we're going to take a look at the Musician's Gear Bag by Lugville. Alright, so there's no real easy way to say this. This is a bag. It's not a guitar, it's not a pedal, it's not even an amp. It's a bag. So, understandably, this is not going to be a terribly sexy kind of review. But it is important. So if you find bags a little boring, or you just simply don't need one, I would understand if you wanted to duck off and make yourself a coffee right about now, because quite frankly, unless you are absolutely in need of a musician's bag, you're going to find this probably a little boring. But don't be afraid. Come back at the end, and uh, there'll be something interesting there for you. All right, so for those of you that have stayed, this is the Musician's Gear Bag by Lugville. Now, Lugville is an Australian company, and as most musicians would tell you, bags are something that you use a lot. You put all your cables and leads in there. If you run your own PA system, you'd be putting all your speaker leads um, and your power leads and mixers and um, any of those little sort of items that you would carry, maybe a couple of pedals, um, some patch leads, those sorts of things all go into your gig bag. So a gig bag is a really important piece of equipment for, for us musicians, particularly if you happen to be a uh, touring musician or, or going and playing shows, uh, or you tend to carry your gear around a lot with you. You, you often need a bag to put it in. Now I purchased this bag, so this, this review is in no way paid for. Uh, I purchased this bag because being a touring musician, I needed a bag. Um, also, I had recently bought a PA and I'd started doing a few little uh, quiet blues duo kind of shows. Um, and I needed uh, you know a good quality bag to carry a lot of this stuff around in. So I bought the Lugville Musicians Gear Bag because it you know, it seemed like it was going to be a, a pretty reasonable thing, and I thought I'll give it a shot. So, let's have a look at the bag, shall we? So, the bag is made out of heavy-duty wax cotton. Um, it has a really, really sturdy feel to this, this material. It's, it's not your regular bag kind of material that you'll find um, in, in a normal bag situation. This has been put in there with some thought. So you've got the heavy duty um, wax cotton and you've got a couple of really durable zips. Um, these things are pretty heavy duty. So we open up the bag and as you can see inside here, I've got all my gear in it. And inside is what they call their lead management system. So what a lead management system is, is it's basically just some Velcro stitched into the back of the bag. But it's done in such a way that you can individually roll all your leads and put them into these things one at a time and that means that if you're looking for a specific lead in this bag you can just move these things out of the way and not have to completely take all these leads out of the velcro to find the lead you're looking for there's plenty of clearance and plenty of space and i've got to say i was amazed at how much i could actually get in this bag so that's really handy because none of your cables and leads get all uh, tangled up as often happens in the bottom of regular bags. Um, so as you can see in the top here we have some pockets in which you can put different things like a microphone, or some pedals maybe, other little bits and pieces um, and you can see into them so you can get a pretty good idea of what's actually inside there without actually having to go to the trouble of opening the velcro which I might say is pretty heavy duty. Um, this bag is also really good because it has a really, really wide strap on it, um, which makes carrying lots of gear in this bag really, really good, um, really comfortable. It takes the weight well and spreads the weight over your shoulder pretty good. So I was pretty happy with that. So if we do it all up and we move to the back now, there is a laptop section in the back here, another couple of heavy duty zips, and the laptop section is actually padded. So if you're doing shows where you're running backing tracks from a laptop, you can put it in there and you don't have to worry about it. Also in there is um, a couple of stash pockets uh, that you can just put little bits and pieces in there. Um, and also a little section in there that you can put your sheet music or set lists 
or any of those sorts of things into that as well and zip it all up. So it's not messing about inside there with your cables. So the whole thing um, wraps up pretty nice and tight with a couple of buckles on the front to hold that flap down and secures really, really handily. It's also pretty much wide enough to stand up on its own almost at times, um, depending on what you've got in there, of course. So there you go. That is the Lugville Musician's Bag. It's pretty good. Ah, look, here come the people that are away making coffee. I'm glad you're back, guys. It's good to see you. Unfortunately, it was a terrible lie. There's nothing really interesting for you here at the end of the video, but we're really glad that you came back. Anyway, that's about it for me today. If you're in the market for a bag, check this thing out because it is pretty heavy duty and really, really good. It's not the cheapest bag you'll find on the market, but I think it's probably the sturdiest and I want to protect my gear. You might like to do that too. So there we are. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching and um, keep rocking.